Century, Fantasy Alarm TV. I'm your host, Ray Flowers. Week 5 busts. I'm even going to give you some extra guys today in the Big 3. Let's start out with the quarterback, the number of 4. That's the number of turnovers the last two games for Marcus Mariota. A couple of fumbles, a couple of interceptions. To this point of his career, he's been great. He's about as good a start as any quarterback we've ever seen in their first three games. But there are questions going into Week 5. The Bills have allowed 10 touchdown passes, which is a big number, but they also have a defense that can be salty at times. You look at the weapons that Mariota had to utilize, and, you know, can you count on Darrell Green Beckham at this point? No, you certainly can't. Harry Douglas? No, you certainly can't. So Laney Walker and Kendall Wright, two good players. Those are really the only guys we can trust as pass catchers. And then we know in the backfield it's a totally topsy-turvy situation. Sankey, Andrews, McCluster, we just don't really know what's going there. I'm throwing the bus warning out with Mariota. This is going to be his worst game of his NFL career to date, and I don't think you should be starting him in any setup unless you're starting two quarterbacks in Week 5. Second number of the day is three, as in the number of running backs I'm going to talk about that are all going to bust this week. Shane Green's the first one. Shane Green has less than six points in a PPR setup the last two weeks. That's awful. Can't be starting him at this point. David Johnson is welcoming back Andre Ellington to the backfield of the Cardinals. Bruce Arians basically saying, look, Chris Johnson's our number one guy. Andre Ellington's the number two guy. David Johnson, you're making too many mistakes. You're making rookie mistakes. Good things happen most of the time when Johnson touches the football. All those big plays, special teams, everything else. But he's also committing rookie mistakes, and he has now slid down to the third spot in the pecking order in the backfield for the Cardinals, as long as Andre Ellington plays as expected this weekend. Final number of the day is 2.6, as in the number of catches per game last season for Martavis Bryant. Now, Bryant returns from suspension. He's uh, obviously been out for four games. Back out on the field now. 2.6 catches a game was his average last year. It's not a good mark. 4.8 targets a game. Very low mark as well. That was with Ben Roethlisberger, too. We saw last week the Steelers really pull back the offense. Was that because they were trying to manage Michael Vick, realizing they can't have him throw the ball 40 times and win? Or was that simply because they wanted to give him some more time to get comfortable in the offense as the starter? We'll see in Week 5. I, can, I tend to think that the Steelers look at this and say, hey, if we have Michael Vick throwing the ball 30-plus times, we don't have a good chance of winning. Bryant should be on your bench this week. He's great talent. When Big Ben is back out there, the offense and, and Bryant's outlook totally changes. I don't trust him because of Michael Vick. That's been it. Big 3, Fantasy Alarm TV. Don't forget to visit us at FantasyAlarm.com. We've got your Week 5 rankings, and guess what? Best news all day? They're free. Talk to you all again soon.